Hey, cord cutters, welcome to episode two of five on building up this little streaming media box. This is an Intel Nook Celeron uh, that I picked up for 130 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, we're going to be talking about how the industry has really changed. There's been a paradigm shift of now more content uh, being on the cord cutters favor uh, with the introduction of Disney Plus and everything it has to offer uh, Hulu. Uh, National Geographic and Pixar uh, films. There's now more available to us than uh, I believe what's available out for people that are buying uh, cable. So either way you want to do it, if you want to use one of these Nook devices or one of these larger, ugh, clunkier uh, home theater PCs, we can install Disney Plus onto a normal Windows box. With each one of these episodes, I'm going to take a little bit of time to make this Windows environment more like a traditional uh, app player that you might see inside of your TV. Uh, we're going to get rid of some menus. We're going to make some icons a little larger. Uh, last episode, we talked a little bit about what a progressive web app is. If you haven't seen that episode yet, go back and watch episode one. Find out what a progressive web app is and uh, then go ahead and come back and watch the rest of this episode. At the time of this video production, there is no traditional executable for Disney Plus on Windows 10. There is an Xbox installer that could possibly be ported to the desktop, but at this time, the best option is coming up soon in this video. Let's go ahead and start off by making these icons a little larger. It's real simple inside of Windows. Simply hit the control key and use the dial that's on your wheel to enlarge the icons. That's a little too big right there, I think. Actually, no, I kind of like that. Let me reorganize here. You'll see here the recycle bin. We're going to get rid of that. There's really no use for it. Let's go ahead and get rid of the recycle bin. Simply right-click the desktop. Go to Personalize. Go to Themes. Scroll down to Desktop Icon Settings and unclick the Recycle Bin icon, click Apply, click OK, and exit out of Settings. With that out of the way, let's get rid of the taskbar. Right-click the taskbar, click Taskbar Settings, find Automatically Hide the Taskbar in Desktop Mode, click that to On, and you'll see that the Taskbar just disappeared. You can go back down there to bring it back up. All it takes is a proximity test of the mouse cursor, and it will bring that taskbar back into play. Otherwise, it will fall back out of view and stay out of the way of our, of our applications. Okay, let's go ahead and create the app for Disney+. Plus. You'll simply need to go to DisneyPlus.com. Disney Plus will open up in Chrome. This is the familiar home page for Disney Plus. You'll simply click the Customize and Control uh, dots in the top right corner of Chrome. Go down to More Tools and click Create Shortcut. That will go ahead and corral Disney Plus into the uh, App Center for Chrome. This is one of those progressive web apps that I was talking about. Name it something familiar. Click open as a window. We're going to eliminate the, well, we're going to have it open full screen and eliminate the border after we click create here. You'll see it actually open the app in its own window. And here we are, we're off and running. I'm going to go ahead and close the app, close Chrome, and you see it took its familiar place in the top left corner of our uh, Windows desktop. Right click Disney Plus, go down to properties. In the shortcut tab, go down to run and click maximized. Click apply, click OK. 
Now when you open Disney Plus, it will open the application in full view. There are a lot of movies and a lot of content on this, so it does not surprise me at all that it takes a little bit of time to boot up the progressive web app. And there we go. In our next episode, we'll go ahead and go over how to make each one of these icons launch from a launch pad into the application. So we're going to actually be building that launch pad. I'll also go over what each one of these is doing, how some of them are native, like this Netflix application versus the progressive apps. We'll even write a script to help us with this Reddit and NHL streams. All of this is to make it easier for us to navigate from a remote control versus the keyboard. Eventually, we're going to kick this keyboard to the curb and we'll be able to use just a standard remote control. If you like today's episode, please go ahead and subscribe. We'll be covering more tips and tricks for production, entertainment, and uh, computer programming coming up in the future.